Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside, and welcome to, to Esoteric Influences for the 30th day of September 2020. We're on a Wednesday today, a day I always like to think of Wednesday as the, the center point of the scales. You have, you know, you have, say, three and three for the for the pans and then and then the center point is the four so you one two three four five six seven so the four point which is i view as a wednesday <laughs> is the day where you step back and you take stock and you kind of look around and see what's really going on in the world and your own world in particular uh i like to use it as the point in the week where where okay what did i forget to do on monday and tuesday i need to get it need to get it done today so i'm not having to think about it you know at the end of the week so um so if you're like me then you kind of use the the this day for that uh we have a three energy though for the last day of the month allow the the past to inform the present today as you make plans for the future uh employ critical thinking and choose the direction that that most aligns with your values uh, if you're on a life path of three, it describes a person who is ambitious and optimistic with a strong will. Our, our rune for today is Urus. Looks like, it looks like a bison. It, 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 one of the key words is Oryx. So you're talking about strength and endurance and healing. It's a water element rune, so change, of course. But what this really, really is, is energy shaping matter. So the primal forming essence. And what is that? It's thought. If the creator is all that is, what you see here is manifested thought of the creator. Each one of us playing a little, you know, piece of that and, and, and watching it play out from our own perspective all goes back to the Akash, the Akashic record, uh, and informs the whole experience for everyone. Um, health issues continue as the virus has yet to be contained. Um, it's in the second wave now. It's going into that, apparently. But with the influence of Urus, as perceptions continue to shift, again, it's thought manifested into form, you have the opportunity now to let go of old patterns and paradigms to arrive at a unified understanding of what's at stake. Um, the CDC director said all we have to do for, for the next, you know, till the end of the year is everybody wear masks. You do that, you're going to seriously impact uh, how many people get this and how many people die from it. It might save 100,000 lives, he said, because they're projecting another 200,000 by the end of the year. Can you believe that? We're just at a little over 200,000. It took us all this time to get there, which is horrifying. Can you imagine doing it all in the next few months, the next three months that we have in front of us? Again, that's unacceptable. Right. So since the, the government, the since the guy who <laughs> since he won't act appropriately and save us, <laughs> give us the right information so we can get all on the same page and insist on it because he could. I mean, if he can tell his little his little group to stand down last night and stand by, those were his words, then he could have told everybody to wear a mask. Right. And had an impact. Right. But no. So we have to understand what's at stake. Use the influence of Urus to manifest a new path forward, one that's healing and strengthening and unifying. Uh, the moon's in Pisces until it switches into Aries at 7.48 p.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time, so my time. <laughs> on this split energy day, focus on important tasks during the day while awaiting the moon's transition into Aries in the evening. Uh, that's moon sextile Saturn. If tension arises, explore new perspectives while calmly discussing the situation. Moon, semi-square, Uranus. Uranus is unexpected stuff that can, that can come up. Thing is, is, you know, sometimes when that happens, things get a little tense. So be calm if tension arises today or this evening. Uh, new beginnings are possible now uh, with this Aries moon. From the human design section of the reading, uh, active channels continue to be awareness and openness. A situation that unfolds today benef may benefit from a sense of proper timing and a unified effort with others. Use back channels if necessary. However, beware of aligning with anyone dishonorable to, to achieve success. It's easy, isn't it, to, to grab the nearest person may not be the best. Remember also that your wisdom and influence are needed now to provide a rational approach. So be certain to express yourself respectfully and with honor and integrity. So I guess that's it for these. I'm going to go ahead and start the somewhat daily tarot and rune reading for today. 
Uh, so I hope you all have a good day. And remember, uh, it, going forward, make your decisions based on what's going to heal instead of what's going to oppress and cause further harm. So have a lovely day. Be good to yourself. Be good to one another. Wear a mask if you go out and about around anyone at all, whether you're inside or out. Be as safe as possible now going forward. And blessed be.